Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm going to show you how Bryson Tiller gets that vintage feel to his music. If you take a moment, or if you listen to it already, a lot of Bryson Tiller music makes you feel as though you're listening to the song through an old record player. So you know, it has that mechanical hum. It has some of that noise factor that you get from analog systems. It has little dust particles, little scratches here and there. And it's pretty cool. It adds a nice vintage vibe to the song and Bryson Tiller uses it in almost all of his tracks and it really helps his sound kind of get to the feeling of what he's trying to portray in his music. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to get that effect right now. The reason why this tutorial sparked up was because recently Isotope launched vinyl in 64-bit and um, it's one of my favorite plugins and now it's 64-bit which you can actually use it in Logic 10 and um, it also adds a new feature which I'll get to at the end of the video but you're going to see how crazy cool this plugin is. And it is free, so why not get it? Go over to isotope.com, download the plugin, and start adding that vintage effect to your tracks like Bryson Tiller and uh, some other artists out there. So let's bring in the plugin. It is, uh, again, Isotope Vinyl. And this is how it looks like. We will be working off of a session that I did a couple months back on a tutorial on how to create a Bryson Tiller pad. So if you want to learn how to get that sound, click the link in the uh, the top corner over there. But uh, for now, let's quickly go over the plugin and give a brief overview. So in this section right here, you got the different elements of your actual vinyl record player. So if you want some mechanical noise in your sound, just turn that up. If you want some wear, turn that up. If you want electrical noise like the hum, turn that up. Want some more dust. If you want some scratches, turn this up as actual volume for the actual amount of scratches here. And then you can kind of do that. Uh, the warp depth over here is, let's say your record gets warped in reality. It kind of warps the sound a little bit, so that's what this is all about. And the warp is kind of affected by what's going on down here by the warp model. Uh, over on to your right side right here is your input gain and output gain. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, stereo mono slider, which is self-explanatory bypass. We can bypass it here. Uh, the speed of your player and of course the year, which is actually a really cool effect. So if I hit play, you can make your song sound as though it's from the 1930s and different eras. So the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 2000s kind of gets brighter as the years go on. Uh, but let's go ahead and add in that Bryson Tiller vintage effect. And uh, again, as a reminder, subtlety is always key when you're mixing, so don't go uh, too crazy when you're applying this effect because it could go a little bit out of hand. Bryson Taylor just uses the perfect amount of it. So we're gonna add in some mechanical noise. We'll add in some wear. Some electrical noise. We'll add in some dust and maybe a little bit of warping, just a little bit. We're going to boost up the output a little bit as well. That's pretty much it right there, as you can hear it in the background. If I stay quiet, you kind of have a little scratches here and there. You could add some scratch as well, but I personally don't like it for this effect that we're going after. You just kind of want to get that, um, that atmosphere sound that you get from these vinyl record players. So let's go ahead and play it. Here it is with the effect off. And here it is with it on. So as you can see, you get that nice vintage vibe that Bryson Taylor gets in his music. It really adds a lot to the song and his songs usually darker and it just adds a lot to the song and it's really, it's really cool effect. Uh, finally, to the spin down feature right here, it is newly added to the 64-bit version. 
So uh, this is what it is. It essentially spins down your track, and I'm pretty sure that I heard that in a couple of Bryson Tiller tracks as well. So you pretty much get all these cool effects in this free plugin by Isotope. Uh, go ahead, isotope.com, vinyl, download it, and uh, add it to your tracks to get that nice dark vintage feel to your records. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you are new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to thumbs up, share this video, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more great videos as they're always coming, and I'll see you all in the next video. Talk to y'all soon. Later.